Hey guys, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of uh, Libra. This is going to be for the end of May going into June. We're going to take a look at your current over energy regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll take a look at uh, what the possible outcome and advice are. Before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get up-to-date content that's being uploaded onto my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this message. Um, and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated with you. Um, and those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Overall energies for Libra. Regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. What is surrounding Libra? What does Libra need to know? What can Libra expect regarding love? and the person that they're connecting with for the end of May going into June. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords, Libra. So there is betrayal here. There's an ending, Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Pisces energy right here, um, the Five of Pentacles, the Sun, Leo energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Five of Cups. We have a lot of fives here. Well, two. Um, so, someone got betrayed here, or someone betrayed someone. I'm, I'm feeling like someone here is sort of like not accepting what has happened. Someone is living with regret here, living with fear of losing someone. You have the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, look at that. Um, yeah, someone wants to apologize here. Someone wants to come in with an apology. Um, some more messages for you, Libra. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here. So whatever, whatever ending, whatever betrayal uh, happened here, it, it's making someone very, very, very insecure. Um, three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the sun. You got the world, Capricorn, energy, or any of the fixed signs. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. You got the Page of Pentacles over the Page of Pentacles. So someone here wants to apologize. Someone's regretting their actions. Um, someone's not happy here. I feel like someone's very alone, very wounded. I feel like someone's really wounded by this. So this could be you, um, Libra or someone that you're dealing with here tell me about the five of cups feel free to switch the roles if you like the roles could be flipped or reversed five of cups and 
the Three of Wands. It seems like someone here is unable to move on from this. Someone here is waiting for someone to come back. So either this could be you, Libra, or someone that you're dealing with here. Um, there's a sense of not wanting to let go of this. And there is a, there's this energy of really feeling insecure, just feeling really happy and alone, unhappy and alone and just remorseful, regretful here. Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Te uh, the Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the uh, Three of Cups. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Wands, the uh, Sun being clarified by the World, and then the Page of Pentacles being clarified by the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups being clarified by the Three of Wands. Take a look at your person here. Um, I think I'll use this one here. Let's use this one. Tell me about the person that um, Libra is dealing with. What are their current over energies towards Libra? Their true feelings and intentions towards Libra for the end of May going into June. on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. Knight of Cups. You know, I feel as though there's one person that's not releasing this. Someone's holding on to this, uh, a person here, which I'm feeling. Um, hold on, I have an itch. I got a new tattoo, and it's very itchy right now. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. We have the Six of Swords. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, and the Seven of Cups. So we have the Knight of Cups on in here. It's like so I'm feeling like this Knight of Cups doesn't want to let go of this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, someone's feeling a lot of regret here. So either this Queen of Pentacles betrayed someone, betrayed this King of Wands, or this King of Wands betrayed this Queen of Pentacles. It seems like there's this energy of like both of you guys really not releasing this. We have the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups again. So someone, you know, I'm feeling like it could be this Queen of Pentacles that keeps moving towards this King of Wands, or vice versa. It could be the King of Wands doing it. I mean, the King of Wands could be a very flighty energy because the Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded energy, an energy that has all their shit together. And, you know, the King of Wands could be an energy that gets bored very easily. 
but it could it's a very passionate energy too so they're you know each of the court cards has its pros and cons so all right tell me about the six of swords okay the five of pentacles again so we have so many fives here there's like conflict change um like there's this energy of moving on from someone moving on from being left out in the cold i mean you have the six of swords here perhaps this king is moving on from this queen of swords looking for change or the situation is not changing um I feel like someone got scarred from the mind games. Someone was traumatized from the mind games here. Tell me about the High Priestess. I mean, both of these could be very traumatized from this. Queen of Cups. So this queen is not speaking to this king. So what I'm feeling here is that this King of Wands was the individual that was, you know, doing mean stuff here to this queen because this queen is not speaking right now to this king all right tell me about the seven of cups you have the sun leo energy we have the page of wands on the bottom of the deck here more aries leo sagittarius energy um look at that so we have some pairs here king of cups with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Seems as though someone here wasn't really being honest. Look at that, you got the King of Wands again. Someone's on their high horse a bit. Um, I'm feeling like this King is not even though this king hurt this queen, this this king is still not letting this person go. It might be a twin flame connection here. Because we have the four wands under here too. I mean, right after the Knight of Cups. So, might be dealing with the twin flame, uh, Libra. Alright, we have the Ten of Wands uh, being clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Cups being clarified by the Tower. All right, King of Wands being clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the High Priestess uh, being clarified by the King of Cups and the um, Seven of Cups being clarified by the Sun. Um, with the uh, Queen of Cups and the High Priestess being there, it could just uh, say um, mean that you know this Queen is incredibly intuitive. Maybe this Queen figured it out with you know their intuition about what this King was doing. Seems as though this king is rush, like sort of like trotting, um, galloping towards this queen with these knights of cups here. I mean, we have three of them: one, two, and then three under here. Um, what is the outcome and advice here for Libra regarding their love situation for the end of May going into June? What does um, Libra need to know? Ten of Pentacles. All right, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, Empress, um, Taurus, Libra energy, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Uh, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy. Uh, Justice, Libra energy. In the Page of Swords. 
Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. We have a lot of major arcanas here. Um, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles here. Uh, so I feel like this queen is wising up. I feel like this queen is in this energy of basically not speaking, basically maintaining their peace and basically letting karmic justice, the universe, handle this situation. I'm just feeling like there's going to be no communication. Communication might be dismal. Um, I mean, I'm just feeling like this might be over. I mean, you might have had a, maybe a marriage with this queen, King of Wands. Um, uh, um, Libra. I feel like you are going through some sort of spiritual transformation. I feel like there's this energy of basically trusting your intuition. Maybe you didn't trust your intuition about this King of Wands before. And now you're in this energy of, you know, trusting, you know, your guides, your angels, uh, the divine, your intuition. Um, and basically letting karmic justice handle this. Uh, it seems like you don't want to deal with this like immature person anymore. Um, seems like this person might have made a lot of promises and they didn't keep it. Um, all right, tell me about the hermit. Yeah, I feel like this Empress is hiding from this King of Wands. This is pretty much over. I just don't see this coming back together. We have the two of swords, Ten of Swords ten times here. No, Ten of Swords two times. That would be a lot of... I mean, wouldn't that be crazy if that would... I mean, I have over 60 t different tarot decks. So that could be possible if, like, someone's coming to me for a personal reading and they're asking me, like, ten different questions. Tell me about the Empress. Two of Swords. Tell me about Temperance. The Unknown. There's this energy of not knowing what's going to happen next, but I feel like you're putting... You're just releasing this whole situation and just letting the divine, letting the universe, letting your angels, your guides, whatever, or just to handle this whole situation. Tell me about this um, High Priestess. The Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Justice card. I feel like you know that I feel like may maybe you come to a realization that, you know, you're, you're dealing with a player, this player, this person's in and out of your life. I mean, this person's coming up as, you know, the Knight of Cups three times and then the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person likes to explore a lot of options. It keeps this person happy. But I just feel like you being this queen here, you're just not okay with it. That's okay. I mean, not everyone's going to be okay with, you know, having, you know, their partner jump around and, you know, be, you know, be bad. Um, so, Chariot. So, I feel like karma has already been set into motion and it's it's a matter of time when, uh, when, uh, when this person receives it. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Page of Swords and the Page of Cups here. So, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Queen of Swords here. Your guard's up. You might be protecting your assets. This marriage might be over. This partnership might be over. Um, I just feel like there's just a lot of betrayal here. Um, there's a lot of, like, mind games going. I feel like, I just really do feel like someone is scarred from this. And I feel like this queen is trying to move on to find their own happiness. Um, 
maybe there is a third party situation involved here. Maybe there is this energy, maybe this has been going on for a very, very long time. And I, I'm feeling like there's, you're seeking some sort of change. You're trying to change your situation here. I feel like you're trying to heal yourself too because you're extremely hurt because I feel like this person has left you multiple times in the cold and then they come back and pretend like, you know, cool as a cucumber, nothing happened, you know, let's start all over again and let's play this game of, you know, some mind fuckery, let's make you feel like shit and I'll leave you again and we'll do it all again and sort of like ring around the rosy here. Um, you don't really go anywhere with this person. So yeah, I feel like the outcome is you're hiding from this king, you're letting the divine take care of this. And yeah, you're no longer gonna be in this like confused state anymore. Hermit being clarified by the king of wands, empress being clarified by the two of swords. Temperance being clarified by the unknown, two of wands, two, um, no, the high priestess being clarified by the king of wands, and the justice card being clarified by the chariot, and the page of swords being clarified by the page of cups. Yeah, you no longer want to deal with this childlike behavior, childlike BS. So, Libra, this is your general reading, general love reading for the end of May going into June. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.